Hi friends, uh, today we are going to see another uh, video of uh, interview question. So in this SQL interview question, the question is to find the maximum value from multiple column values. So for example, if this is an input table like metal table, which is having year wise gold medals won by different country. So USA, China and Russia, each country's medals are depicted in separate column. Okay. So the objective is to find the maximum gold secured right among these three for each year. The output should look like this year and the maximum value of out of these three. Right. So, so this is the requirement and let us see you now what are the different approaches uh, you now using which we can achieve this in SQL. Okay. So for that uh, now I have created a table and I have inserted a C data also for these four years. And let us see the records in the table. Yeah, so it has year wise the same data that uh, we have seen in the Excel is there. So let us see um, what approach we can we can just go. So the first approach that I think more many of us think is the union all. So what we can do is we can we can uh, basically in a subquery we can have only two columns, right? The year and the first column union with year and the second column and union with the third column basically what it will do is it will fetch all these um, four records right for the into three columns into 12 records right this is more of a bringing all um, uh, all these columns into a single column right because we want to operate right uh, the maximum right so basically if we bring all these columns all these column into a record, then we will be able to apply the maximum for every year. We will get the result, right? In the outer query, if I just apply a maximum, then uh, we will get the maximum because it considers all these three columns are converted into records. So this is the first approach with the inner subquery, and we can have uh, the maximum applied in the outer query. So this approach, you know, I am calling it as a union all. And the second approach is unpivot. So unpivot is, is exactly doing the same thing, right? Converting columns into records, right? This is a syntax for converting these three columns into records. And then like in the previous approach, I can apply the uh, maximum because the unpivot does the same thing. So what we did manually is what unpivot is providing, right? Inbuilt functionality. And then now we are going to go to the third approach. So third approach is it is more of a cross apply. So for cross apply, so we are what we are doing is we are just taking the, we are combining the all these three columns. Okay. So for example, this is the metal table. From the metal, metal table in cross apply what we can do is we can use the column values for each record and then we can union all, right. And then how many records it will come for every record there will be three record for every record in the middle and there will be three records and then among the three it will find the max also right it will get the maximum and when we do cross apply it will show this maximum in the um, in the as a new column right that is what the cross apply will do and this is the third approach with cross apply and fourth approach is we can what we can do is in SQL there is something called a value set. So the columns we can we can in a subquery for each records column we can build that as a values. For example, what I have done here is the metal table I am just selecting in the outer query and inside that I am writing a subquery and in the subquery what I am doing is I am inserting the columns as values like a three records that I am forming. This is SQL functionality wherein we can because we do write insert into then values 1, 2, 3 like that we can give right. This is the same format, same syntax. I am providing these three column as a record and out of these three record I can get the max right. This query is going to fetch max of these three uh, columns for each record okay. So then we can we get the same result. This approach I am calling it as a column as value set. And another simplified approach in SQL Server is if function. So 
So the if function basically what I am doing is I am see I am putting a condition if USA is greater than China and USA Russia then USA is the answer. Then if not if China is greater than Russia then China if not Russia. So this way all these three columns are uh, validated right then we can get the maximum of, out of these three using a single if condition we do not need to write any sub query or uh, no other pivot and pivot nothing is needed. And then uh, another uh, good thing about this approach is we can even list the country name also because the same condition I am just giving instead of giving the value for example if USA is greater than China and Russia is greater than uh, USA is greater than Russia then I can assign a value 1. Similarly for China I can assign value 2 and then I can assign a value of 3 for Russia and the choose function what it does is based on the value so 1, 2, 3 if the value comes 1 then it will pick the first value from this list. So that is what the choose will do choose the parameters are first is the position which uh, value you need from the following results following uh, following values right. So if if this if condition returns 1 for uh, USA then it will show the first value. If this result returns 2 then it will return China. So we will see the result. When execute uh, this one, this not only tells the value of the maximum metal won by uh, this thing and also the mag which country won, right. So that we can do. And there is one last approach. This is even more simplified approach with a single function. We do not need to write the condition and all, right. So uh, SQL Server 2022, they have recently introduced the greatest function. So the greatest function will return, right. So simply it will return uh, greatest of these three columns. Right. So, with a very minimal code, we will be able to get this. So, I hope this video is interesting and uh, you could learn something. Um, and uh, so, this is all about finding maximum from multiple column values. Okay. So, there are six approaches. Uh, just to summarize, first is the union all, second is unpivot, third is cross apply, fourth approach is value set. Okay. Fifth is if function. And then sixth is the uh, greatest function. Okay. So I hope uh, uh, this uh, video is very interesting to you and uh, you, this helps uh, you, know, you to solve some of the problem that they asked in the interview. So if this video uh, uh, no, uh, adds value to you and if you like it, like it, share it and comment it and subscribe to my, my channel. Thank you so much.